things, faces, friends, places. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Years and moments half forgotten. Laughs, fears, songs, tears. Memories are absolutely made of these. I remember a time, the twenties. I really do remember, I'm afraid. I'm going to try and remember some of the girls I knew then. Pam and Enid and Daphne. And of course, any resemblance to persons living or dead, you know. Anyway, here it is then, the twenties. Me and my friends. Jack and I went to schools in different counties, but otherwise the things we learnt and did were more or less the same. We were all frightfully keen on games. Eka, we called it. Exercise, you see. Because it was the 20s and women were all out to refute the fact that it was a man's world, there seemed great emphasis on sport, and cricket of all things in particular. Daphne's games mistress, Miss Horsfall, used to say that a, a straight bat through life fears no fast bowlers. And Miss Horsfall ought to know, I mean, look at her. Daph lived in a really top house in London. Daph's dad, they were divorced or separated or something, you know, sort of exciting like that. Daph's dad was in oil, or whatever it was, and it was fabulous. I mean, they had, well, pots and pots, absolutely rolling. Daph's older sister, Muriel, was potty about hobbies. She made tea cozies for bazaars and did barbola work. I think that was a sort of making fruit and flowers out of wax to go round old tins and waste paper baskets. She could, of course, have bought anything she wanted, but, well, that wasn't the idea. Sometimes it was hats made of crepe paper. She bought the shape, as it were, and then would have a spiffing time decorating it. She found the whole thing worthwhile. It released something basic in her. All the same, with all that paper about, it was just as well she didn't smoke. What a different world in the 20s than it is today. A woman doctor said at the time, if British economic conditions don't allow for large families, then people ought to go and have them in the wide open spaces of the empire. So there. Of course, you had to listen to all kinds of funny things at a time when women were just beginning to have a real say. And as, thanks to the war, there were tens of thousands more women than men, the male sex was not only outnumbered, but pretty well shouted down. I don't think politics came into Daph's sister's life much on the other side of the park. It's just one gay whirl. As soon as I put my foot in Piccadilly this morning, <gasps> the wedding! How sweet she looked. That young Duke of York has done well for himself, and for Britain. But those crowds made me all behind like the cow's tail. If I hadn't been given a lift, I should never have got to the dressmakers. 
And then, of course, because I was late, he was all thumbs. But I do have to admit, I did make the poor man simply whiz round. Just time, then, to have my jolly old face done. Well, if I hadn't been there, where would I have got all the latest? You know, the chit-chat. Then one mad rush back in a taxi to dress. So much for Daft Sister Muriel by day. By night came the real climax. A climax for which many minutes of tireless preparation had to be expended. At the height of the season, wherever she went, it was always incumbent on Daft Sister to look absolutely spiffing. And so they would gather at the cocktail hour. But what is it to be tonight? A dinner party followed up by bridge? Auction, of course. Or would it be Ma John? But from what they tell me, Daph's sister was never terribly good at Ma John. She always got her walls mixed up with her winds. Like as not, it would be an evening at the theatre. Not too serious or highbrow for Daph's sister, of course, though she had broken many a shoulder strap with emotion over Owen Nairs. Jack Buchanan was very much my cup of tea. After the show, an hour or so at one of those new cabarets. The Midnight Follies at the... Oh, what hotel was it? They pulled it down. Yes, I know. That was the world of Daph's sister. And how she did manage to pack it all into 24 hours was indeed something to be wondered at. <laughs> 